Hey y'all, so out of the barn today, we have a 2004 Marin Hawk Hill hardtail. Um, back in the day, this probably was a pretty good bike. Right now, not so much. It's been uh, neglected and uh, left, for, left for dead. I actually bought this bike and with two things in mind. One, it had a great frame, very lightweight, 705 aluminum, and it has uh, disc brake mounts on it, and the wheels were actually in good shape, and they are disc compatible as well. So um, we're going to be uh, taking this thing, and we're going to change it from an old 2004 mountain bike that kind of was lost in between generations of good and bad mountain bikes, <clears throat> and we're going to turn it into a gravel uh, gravel beast. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you how much I spent on changing this bike, and, and you can let me know if it's worth it, and how much you think it might be worth. So let me grab this thing and see if I can roll it into the shop, and join me and watch me turn this thing into something it never intended to be.
Well, I've been planning this build for quite a while, and I never imagined it to be able to turn out as well as it did. Um, if you know anything about Marin and Hawk Hills, you know, um, Marin had to stop using the name Hawk Hill f for legal reasons. I'm not really sure the details, but I guess it's kind of uh, it's kind of cool that I brought one of their Hawk Hills back to life, and it's going to be uh, around to serve for quite a long time. It definitely was a budget build. I was very careful not to spend too much money in, and as you can tell, I didn't use very high-end parts on it. But boy, it doesn't seem to matter much. It rides great. Stick around for a cost summary in a couple seconds. I really love doing these kind of builds, and I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your friends. So at the end of the day, what does this thing cost? Out of the parts bin, I did take some the stem, the bars, seat, seat post clamp and pedals. So I guess you could assign a little bit of value to those things. But my true cost that I paid for, 60 bucks for the bike, the fork, 60, cassette, 30, tires and tubes, 40, grip tape, 12, crank set and bottom bracket, 30, uh, front chain ring 24, chain 18, and brake 64 for a grand total of 338. You could argue with all the extra parts spin stuff, maybe you're scratching 400. So, a 24 pound disc brake compatible 1x9 gravel bike for 400 bucks. I think it's a pretty good deal. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, and if you want to find out where I got those parts for those prices, I have the link to everything that I bought in the description below. All right, thanks for watching, and have a great day. More builds to come. Thanks.